What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Yeah, I'm wearing myself a little bit of a blanket, and if I sound a little congested, I'm not sick or anything. I just want to, I'll give an update on that. Uh, but first, I wanted to talk about our newest addition to the family, our stray cat that we've taken in. Um, we did manage to take her to the vet, and the poor thing ended up, the, her teeth were so bad that she needed seven uh, extractions. Uh, basically, they said somebody abandoned her because they said that she was so friendly and she's, you know, not nervous around people. So it shows that at one point that somebody just said, this is too much, and they just let her out in the wild to fend for herself. We don't know how long, but long enough to know that, I mean, to have seven teeth removed, that's pretty bad. So she can actually only eat soft food. So um, I wanted to thank the people that did help. Um, despite what some people said, I wasn't out for thousands of dollars. We weren't going on some kind of spending spree or anything like that, other ridiculous things like that. We got a total of $296 from people who helped us to be able to pay for these bills. And I wanted to thank you guys. Uh, we weren't trying to take advantage of people. We were in a situation where we needed some assistance. We needed it quickly. And there were people who stepped up to the plate and really helped. Unfortunately, a few bad apples spoil the tree, and you'll have some people with nothing better to do but make assumptions. Um, I ended up, I sold a couple of things of mine. Um, I just didn't announce it, so people can assume, again, you know, the people that are here for the wrong reasons. And um, this is basically to focus on the people who do care. Um, if there are only 15, 20, 30 people on this channel out of 13,000 subscribers that care, that's perfectly fine with me because I've never tried to make this into a popularity contest or I'm not one of those people that needs to have millions of quote-unquote friends to be able to do this. Like I say in the headline of my channel, helping to unite the people one person at a time. So if I'm only helping one person, obviously there's more than that. Um, I'm proud to do it. Uh, things are going to be a little sporadic for the moment because as you see with the blanket, on Friday night, we ended up running out of heating oil, which I didn't think was going to happen because we bought 140 gallons worth of oil, and it only lasted 22 days. And that's never happened before. I guess with negative 10 degree weather, that is going to be the reason. Long story short, um, our pipes froze, and one of the pipes here in the living room ended up bursting and kind of ruined part of the living room. We had to actually rip up the flooring and the tiles and the carpet. Not fun. But basically, we could not get anybody to come fix it. Uh, I guess there were so many people having the same problem here uh, until today. So for the past couple of days, we've been without heat. I haven't, today was the first day I was able to take a shower just about a half hour ago. And the temperature hasn't risen in here yet. So I'm not sick. Uh, it's just been freezing cold for the past couple of days. Um, we're perfectly fine. we got it taken care of. Just poor timing. I guess like they say, uh, no good deed goes unpunished. So I wanted to let you guys know that I'm alive. Uh, we didn't go out buying Lear jets and private uh, Lamborghinis and tours around the world. Uh, we're just here trying to do the best that we can. And without the heat, we had a couple of little mini heaters going on, and we had to shut off all the other electricity so the power wouldn't go out. So I'll do some updates when I can. But I basically wanted to say thank you and let you guys know that despite all the things that happened, it shows that there are some kind people in the world, even the people who just sent messages and nice comments and even people that said they would send prayers. To me, that's perfectly fine. And it shows that even with all the stuff that happened in the past couple of days, I, I know I could still make it through anything. My wife was there to come through. My mother helped out. Uh, the vet definitely came through. Uh, the cat's doing fine. And now that cat has a home instead of wandering around in the wintertime, freezing cold, wondering where its next meal is going to be. So I'm very proud of that because now we have three stray cats that we've taken in. Uh, I don't know if we can take any more. So hopefully they won't keep coming up to my house. But it's nice to know that we did some good. And despite all the things that have happened, we still come out of it on top. Yeah, it was stressful. Yeah, it's frustrating, especially when there are certain people out there that are making accusations and assumptions. You know, they're, they're going to do it no matter what. So I don't really worry about it, nor do I really care. But 
I know that I can make it through anything. And if this shows anything for you guys, it shows that even when, you know, the, the crap hits the fan, things could be hard, things could be challenging, could be frustrating. But if you don't give up, you will always make it through. So I just wanted to let everybody know that despite all the things, and it did hit us pretty hard, we're going to be okay. And I feel perfectly fine. I mean, I feel a little congested from being cold for the past four or five days, but, you know, this too shall pass. So I wanted to thank you guys and um, the people that said they wanted to send food to help the cat. Um, unfortunately, this cat, with all the teeth that's been removed, uh, she's unable to eat solid food. Uh, the only thing that we could serve her is the soft little canned food. So to the people that wanted to send, like, you know, bags of the food, uh, I appreciate it, but unfortunately she wouldn't be able to eat it. But anyway, to the people that gave the well wishes, the kind words, the prayers, everything helped. I mean, the $296 definitely helped for us to pay for some of the bills. Uh, we have to go get her spayed soon, but we figured, you know, let her adjust to this new home. The cats are starting to get along. They were fighting at first, and she definitely, you could tell she was a wild cat because she wasn't letting the other cats near her. And Oregon was actually the first one to try and approach her. So it's it's getting better. So I'm getting a little congested. I'm going to stop the video here. I don't think you guys want to hear me sounding like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But I want to let you know I'm perfectly fine. I'm not sick. Um, the cat is doing fine. She's well. She's amazingly full of love. As a matter of fact, last night she curled up next to me in bed and just fell asleep on my armpit. Uh, it's just a welcome addition to this home. And I have you guys to thank for the contributions that you did. So I'm going to leave it here. Have a great night. And just remember, guys, no matter how bad a situation could be, you can always make it out on top. So take it from me, who has had a lot of things happen in his lifetime. You will always survive. You just got to keep that mindset. And sometimes when you give love, you'll get it back. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep your heads up. And uh, I'll try and get back into the videos again when I get things back in order. All right, guys. Have a great night. Peace.